Alright, welcome back to these Antares tutorials. As of the last video, we've made some fairly sophisticated changes to our software. So technically, this isn't going to be so much a tutorial as it will be an update. First off, there are some minor improvements to the Antares interface. Let's take a look. Uh, there, as you can see, we've got a whole assortment of new icons. Earlier, if you'll recall, they were just circles, but now we've got icons which designate the types of unity interactions and properties a function or variable has. They apply to the types which are registered in the software from the get-go, and therefore have icons preset for them. For example, this is a string variable, and this, without any lines on it, is a component. Aside from this, when we've got a variable selected in the graph, in order to toggle it open or closed, you merely need to click the middle mouse button. In its open state, we can see the name of the variable. Again, all this adds convenience. Okay, now let's go to another graph and see more of these icon examples. There, that's a very familiar one to us, isn't it? It's the rotating light from our previous tutorials. And there's our light source. And then there's our transformer function. Well, let's keep moving. Aside from what you've just seen, we've also made alterations to how the node panel hierarchy looks. When nodes have a meaning which relates to the ones in Unity Engine, they have an appropriate icon displayed. Well, let's see some. Alright, let's, uh, let's choose just something at random. Animation, animation clip, box collider, camera, capsule collider, all sorts of particle systems, rigid body functions, and so on and so forth. Alright, let's get out of this. As you can see, this whole large assortment, assortment of icons is going to be quite helpful in the hunt and peck that happens sometimes when you need a certain function, but don't quite know where it's hiding in that hierarchy. Now, here comes the best for last, however. All of this is child's play compared to the abilities that the Scene View API will open up. It's a new development tool that has emerged quite recently, and its analog does not exist in the vanilla Unity engine. And this will have to wait until the next video, however. I hope you've enjoyed this one.